Did you know that there are different types of fluoride that can be in your toothpaste? If you look at the back of your tube of toothpaste, you might see one of two common active ingredients, either stannous fluoride or sodium fluoride. So in this video, I'm gonna break down the key differences between these two different types of fluoride so that you can help figure out which one is best for you. Now, first of all, what is fluoride? So fluoride is a natural mineral on earth and it's really important for our teeth. And that's because when fluoride gets in contact with our teeth, then it can help remineralize and strengthen them. You might have heard a lot of different information on the internet about how fluoride is toxic and how we should be avoiding fluoride at all costs. I'm not gonna get into too much detail on this because I did talk about it in some other videos. So I'm putting a couple videos in the description below, so make sure you check those out. But in a nutshell, the fluoride that's in our toothpaste is completely safe. And there's almost a hundred years of evidence supporting this. The reason that fluoride protects our teeth is because when fluoride gets in contact with our enamel, then it will change the structure of our enamel. So normally our enamel is made up of these hydroxyapatite crystals. In contact with fluoride, one of these hydroxide ions will be replaced by a fluoride ion. When this happens, it's no longer called hydroxyapatite. Those crystals in your tooth are now called fluorapatite. And those fluorapatite crystals are way more compact and they can be held tighter together. And this makes them a lot more resistant to getting cavities. Your enamel normally will break down at a pH of 5.5. This is the acidity level where enamel starts getting demineralized. But fluorapatite, on the other hand, will start demineralizing at a pH of 4.5. So this makes it a lot harder for you to get cavities when you're exposed to fluoride. Now, what exactly is sodium fluoride versus stannous fluoride. So we'll start with sodium fluoride. Sodium fluoride is the most common form of fluoride used in toothpaste. The main benefit of this is, like I described before, how it remineralizes your teeth and prevents cavities. And when it comes to that alone, just preventing cavities, sodium fluoride is probably the best thing you can get. This is also the common form of fluoride that's found in water fluoridation and also in mouthwashes that have fluoride and also in prescription toothpastes that have extra fluoride. Now, stannous fluoride differs a little bit chemically compared to sodium fluoride. Stannous fluoride is made up of a tin and a fluoride ion. So it's also called tin fluoride. In this case, each tin atom is bonded to two fluoride atoms. The cool thing about stannous fluoride is on top of remineralizing your teeth, it also has an antibacterial component and also an anti-sensitivity component. This means that not only does it fight against cavities, it also fights against gingivitis and sensitive teeth. So when you use stannous fluoride, you get three benefits in one, as opposed to sodium fluoride, you really just get the remineralizing and preventing of cavities. This is why there's a lot more dental products coming out with stannous fluoride now, as opposed to sodium fluoride. So sodium is a more simple compound. The sodium is a more reactive metal than tin. And when it binds with fluoride, the main benefit, like I said, you get is remineralizing of the enamel and preventing cavities. But with stannous fluoride, the tin in it is what gives it additional properties, like the ability to fight bacteria and reduce gum inflammation. So which toothpaste is better for you? If you want a toothpaste that has a more comprehensive oral care behind it, then you should choose stannous fluoride. Now you might say, why would anyone choose sodium fluoride over stannous fluoride if stannous fluoride has so many other benefits? So there are some potential downfalls you might get from stannous fluoride. One of them, the main one being, it can stain your teeth. Now, I don't know if this is the case anymore as much. It was the case a while back when stannous fluoride was first coming out, but the stains that people would get from stannous fluoride would usually be really easy to polish off at a dental cleaning or something like that. So they were never really permanent. But now with the newer products, I'm not really seeing as much of the staining behind stannous fluoride. I even had a rep come into our office and he said that the data really shows that there's no evidence of staining with the newer stannous fluorides. I personally also use a stannous fluoride toothpaste and I haven't really noticed any staining, but if you use a stannous fluoride and you need to notice any staining on your teeth, let me know in the description below. But if you're the type of person that is only concerned about getting cavities or not, you brush and floss your teeth and your gums are pretty healthy and you don't really have any sensitivity, then you can probably be fine with a sodium fluoride toothpaste and never really need to worry about stannous fluoride. Actually, for most people, using a sodium fluoride toothpaste is great. And if you're really worried about having any stained teeth and you're happy with your sodium fluoride toothpaste, then you don't need a switch. But if you have sensitive teeth and you have a lot of gum inflammation and you want that gum inflammation to come down, on top of worrying about cavities, as everyone should worry at least a little bit about cavities, then in this case, I'd probably use stannous fluoride. Now, if you are worried about sensitivity, you can also try a toothpaste that has something called potassium nitrate. This is a really common ingredient in a lot of sensitivity toothpastes combined with fluoride. The potassium nitrate can actually block those tubules that are exposed to that nerve ending in your teeth. So it can block a lot of the sensitivity in your teeth. Now, in terms of the taste and textures of these two toothpastes, 
I personally don't really notice a difference, but I have heard some people say that the sodium fluoride tends to have a better taste or at least a more neutral taste and is less gritty. The stannous fluoride tends to be just a little bit more gritty than the sodium fluoride. But really when it comes down to the two, I don't really recommend one over the other unless you have some gum disease or gum inflammation that we're trying to tone down, then I would recommend the Stannis Fluoride. But both toothpastes are proven to be safe and effective. Now, a quick side note, some people might get some rash or redness in their gums, or they might get this burning sensation or a, a bunch of mouth sores on their gums when using a certain toothpaste. You might be quick to say that it's either the Stannis or the Sodium Fluoride that's causing this, but it's more likely something else. I would check and see if there's something called SLS or sodium lauryl sulfate in that toothpaste. SLS is found in not just toothpaste, but also a lot of personal care products like shampoo and soap. Now it's meant to be a surfactant, meaning it's supposed to make things foamy and clean a little bit better. But some people can be really sensitive to it or even allergic to it. And in these cases, you'll start to see that redness or the drying and peeling of your gums or mouth sores. Basically what happens is your immune system is overreacting to this sodium lauryl sulfate. So if you notice that this is happening to your gums, I would avoid this SLS and I would look for a SLS free toothpaste. So make sure you read that ingredient list, not just looking for the stannous or the sodium fluoride, but also see if that SLS is in there if you want to avoid that. And I would also advise you go to your dentist or doctor if this is happening to you because it could be something else other than an allergy that's causing these problems. Now, whatever toothpaste you do choose, it's really important that you do everything else correctly. Your diet is really important. Also really important to make sure you're brushing for two minutes thoroughly and cleaning every surface of every tooth two times a day and also flossing at least once a day. If you're not doing all these right things, then I would focus on doing that first before you choose a specific type of toothpaste. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video and hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for the next video. Have you ever wondered if that foamy toothpaste of yours might be causing more harm than good? If you ever get these ulcers in your mouth or you have a lot of irritation and this burning sensation in your mouth or you get a lot of dryness in your mouth, it could be from your toothpaste. Now, not all toothpaste, it could be from a specific ingredient called